Welcome to another DIY journal tutorial for beginners. This video will demonstrate how to create an art journal, similar to the one I have shown and used in my art journal series on my channel. Many people have been asking me how I created it, so I thought I'd show you all how through an easy step-by-step -step process. Firstly, you will need a few things. An old hardcover book, paper or pages of your choice. I get mine from a cheap art pad. Scissors, a paper trimmer or a ruler, some fabric or scrapbook paper, and PVA glue. Later you will need a few additional things to bind your book. This will be a needle, some paper clips, an awl and some thread. These are the basic supplies you will need, though most things can be improvised or you can find alternatives. Take your book and remove the inside pages. You can often find used books in thrift stores or libraries. Try to choose one that is easy to gut. You can identify that by looking down the inner spine, where there should be a gap where the text block and spine meet. Simply remove the pages by making two cuts down each end paper. Be careful not to cut into the spine. Next you will want to reinforce the cover. You can do this with fabric, paper or sometimes even tape. I'm going to use fabric and cover the entire inside of the book so it looks tidy and decorative. But the most important part to cover is the hinges next to the spine. This is where you will need reinforcement. Using PVA glue to glue your reinforcement to the inside cover. You can cut the fabric or paper before or after you've glued it down. For fabric, I cut it after. To be lazy, it's much easier to cut it after so you don't have to measure it perfectly. Paper is probably easier to cut beforehand. After you've glued it, set it aside to dry. Now we'll start to make the pages. Choose whatever paper that you're comfortable using. Take into account how you'll use it, what mediums you'll use, and what is suitable for your personal art process. I'm taking 20 sheets from my art pad and folding them in half. You can choose whatever number of pages suit you and your book cover, but make sure you leave enough room to expand with use. This part is optional, but now is the time to decide if you'll have any other interactive or varied side pages within your art journal. I like to include some fold out pages and sometimes even shorter pages and narrow pages. I create fold outs by making multiple folds rather than just one. Make the folds for your own personal preference. Now we will cut our pages to fit into a cover. The easiest way to measure your pages is to hold them to your cover and pencil in where the pages need to end to fit. I do this for the first page and then use it as my template for the rest. If you have a paper trimmer, you can now use it to cut your pages down. If you do not have a paper trimmer, you can still do this using a ruler. We can hand tear our pages to size. If you wish to have shorter or narrow sheets, now is the time to trim them down. Finish cutting your remaining pages. The next step is optional again, but for my art journal, I like to have window pockets or shapes cut out through some of the pages. Again, there are tools you can use that make this easy, such as a die cut machine. But if you do not have one, you can also do this manually by tracing out your shapes and cutting by hand.
If you like, you can also use your scraps to create additional pockets and mini foldouts, simply folding, cutting and gluing to the existing pages. Be creative with it, there are so many things you could do. Once you have finished creating your pages, it's time to assemble them into signatures. Signatures are groups of pages within your book that are individually stitched into the spine. I'm going to do groups of five pages. Organize them in whatever order you like until you're happy with how it looks. Set the pages aside for now. Now let's go back to the cover. You may choose to decorate it before you put your pages inside. I'm going to add some paint, sprays and texture paste and maybe even a little collage. You can decorate any way that you like. There are no limits to what you can do. Once your cover is dry, we can now add in our pages. I like to stitch mine in following this simple method. Take your signatures and hold them together using paper clips, hairpins or whatever you have on hand. Take a scrap piece of paper the same length as your book spine. We will use this as our template. 
To keep it simple, we're going to do a pamphlet stitch with only three holes. Measure out your holes on your template. They do not have to be perfect, but they will look tidier if you measure them the same or almost the same. One in the middle and two at either end. Label the top of your template so it won't get flipped around when you use it. Use the template to draw where your holes will go on your spine. Since I am doing groups of 5 pages, I have 4 signatures to stitch in. You can measure this out to be perfect if you wish to. Poke the holes out in your spine. I do apologise that you may notice my holes are done already. My camera stopped filming so I'm reenacting it for you here. Now take the same template to your signatures and use it to poke holes in your pages. The template ensures they will fit to your spine holes. You can keep it still with a paper clip if you need to. Once you have finished the holes, it's time to stitch your pages in. Don't be daunted, this is easy. Take some string, twine, cord or thread, preferably something strong and durable, thread it through a needle. Thread your string, take one lot of pages and thread through the middle hole. Leaving the end through the signature, thread the needle through the middle hole of your book. Go back through one of the other holes, top or bottom, it doesn't matter, and through the pages again. Now go back through the middle. and then back in through the remaining hole. That's it. Tie it off as tightly as you can. Follow this method for your remaining signatures.
Now you are done. Your very own DIY art journal. You can always create alternatives and change this method to suit your individual needs. There are no rules. The options are endless. Enjoy your DIY book. Experiment and have fun. If you liked this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and let me know if there's anything you'd like to see next. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!